right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. First off, nothing else. Moment of silence for the Bean Man. It's Kobe Day, 824. Last time this year, we had, you know, they dropped some information, or we had, you know, almost the game was out, some stuff was happening and stuff. Or was that in 2K21? Maybe that was 2K21 where they dropped the first one, and then it is what it is. But first, we're going to get five seconds of silence for the bean, and then we're going to get on with the day, man. And you can also take this lex, this, this, this time right here to like the video, man, because every time y'all like the video, man, it helps us get closer to that also coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. So check it out, man. Shameless plug. Y'all see the t-shirt that I got on, man? Y'all probably going to be seeing this joint a lot over the next couple of days because advertisement, 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 man. Look, this is just one of many shirts that's in the store, bro. Go in the store. Check it out. You can put it on anything you want to. I, I'm, I'm converting all the stuff over to it. You got, we got hoodies. We got everything. The prices are dynamic, so they change as you as you get what you got. We got the uh, we got the uh, tank tops and everything like that, man. You know, we got the locked up. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. We got locked. You know what I'm saying? You got it on anything, everything, whatever, whatever, whatever. We got it like that. I'm going to change the price of that to like $9.99 or something like that. I'm going to drop that down. Beast mode activated, man. We got some of everything. Go through, choose your garment, and uh, do a pump day. Guess what day it is. Hey, all these joints, man. Go over. Check them out. Better sure than sorry. All that. Check them out. Um, and copy one, man, because them joints are fire. I said they fire. And then you can do your own custom shirt, man. Upload your stuff. And uh, do whatever you want to do, man. And, uh, and and you will be good to go. But first things first, man. Check this out, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been having a ball with this game lately. And uh, it's because I've, I've, I've gone over to the PC side. And I, I'm doing some of the... not it's, it's not the hacking, but it's, it's some of the um, the modding that goes along with it, man. And it's so dope, man. It's, it, it's dope as I don't know what. It's, uh, it's cool that you can do these things. And that the community over there, they get together, they do all this stuff, man. They just make everything. It's it's a breeze, bro. It's just it's not hard. It's just just good, clean, wholesome fun, I guess is what you would say. But enough about that. So that's what y'all see in the background. You know, we got Team Mario versus the mascots, them Scotties and stuff like that. If y'all like this type of gameplay in the background, y'all let me know, man. Uh, Ballers versus the Ringers in the Mamba Academy. Like I said, we paying homage to Mamba. Hey, bro, even the Undertaker. Is paying homage to the Mamba, man. Check it out, but check it out. Happen, Kobe. Uh, it's gonna happen. Look at that, Kobe. Uh, hey, man. Look, man. Everybody gotta pay homage to the Mamba, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, it's a dude that influenced a lot of our lives. Uh, a lot of people didn't see Mike play. A lot of people know Mike, but a lot of people didn't see Mike play. And certainly, somebody like me, I saw Mike play. I was like, I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm old. So I seen Mike play, but I didn't understand what I was watching. So to me, when Kobe arrived and he was our age, and you know what I'm saying, he was getting busy. When I got older and older, I realized, I was like, yo, I didn't appreciate Mike because I was too busy being a fan. And you know what I'm saying, hating on him and, and talking about Kareem was the best or whatever, whatever. And then, you know, we just let Kobe's essence do his thing. And, and like I said, we was like, dang, this dude killer, he can't be stopped. And they, and they was like, Mike is better than this? Like, yo, it's crazy, man. So. Like I said, big shout out to the Bean and all, and all that good stuff, man. So, with that being the case, we're going to start this thing off, man, with some positive words from uh from Phantom Slice, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I remember Phantom from back in the day with the dope swag situation. And uh, <laughs> it's always, it's, it's something that's going to live. Like, he, he doing his thing now. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody messing with him now, man. He doing his thing, found his own lane. Big shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? But uh, and, and back then he was doing 2K or whatever, and I think it was what it was uh, Steezo and Batman, and they was they was carrying uh, dope swag, you know the whole dope swag situation. That's how I found Man Man Grindhard because he did a video on it. And uh, the only thing I remember, or I knew about Phantom at that point in time was uh, Steezo was like, man, we pulled up on you and beat you and whack Phantom slice. You should be ashamed. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, but who got the last laugh now, man? Phantom is doing his thing, and some words of positivity that he put out there just for everybody in the community. He says, yo, do me a favor and don't stop chasing your dreams for real. I remember being looked at as crazy when I said I could make uh, more than 30000 a month. Like I'm telling you, everyone said this too. Everyone I said this to was like looking at me like they laughing for real, uh, real stuff. I remember being told, leave what I do alone hundreds, if not thousands of times, and I mean, uh, times to stop doing what I was doing because it was going nowhere. I remember seeing news about if you if you make more than uh, 450,000 a year, you will be taxed more and, uh, and not understand the tax, the taxes during that. I did not understand the taxes during that time. I was like, dang, what the world? The the people who were who were the people who were with me in that room. All right, you know what I'm saying. All right. So anyway, he said, looked at me and laughed. Word to my mother. I got hold on. Let me put it. Can I put it on dark mode so I can read this man? Cause good grief, my eyes are old. He said, word word to my. Let me see. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Word to my mother. Uh, and that it was good. I do not. I don't have to worry about anything, bro. Nonetheless. I got no hate towards them. Those are still my people, but please don't let people project the way they view themselves on you. The personal insecurities don't let them face uh phase oh the personal insecurities don't let them phase you mentally. They focus on whatever it is you're doing. Nobody knows where you're headed. Um and and for the four hundred and fifty thousand comment, uh we done made we done made that in two months and that ain't ish to what you can really do. And I, hey, he right about that, man. Uh, I wish that he would've also said, you know, make sure that you're in a position, make sure you popping too, bro. Dang, bro, I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I, I cut that off because people start putting vulgar things down there. But make sure you popping too. Make sure you got a future and a career in it. Make sure like, you can't just, it ain't for everybody. I, I also wish that YouTubers would also do that. You know, chase your dreams, do this and do that. And, um, but also make sure you, you, you're doing something you, you, like like you're viable in what you're doing. Like I, I'm not gonna try to chase my dream to go to the NBA right now because I, I would number one I wasn't that good to begin with. I was never good enough to play in the league. Blah blah blah. You understand? So make sure we chasing our dreams within reason. I always want to put that in there and caution people because like I said, I make a lot of money at my job and it would be crazy for me to just quit that and and you know go after YouTube if I didn't see an avenue or if I didn't think that I was gonna be able to get there. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, chase your dreams within reason, but also make sure that you're doing what you got to do to keep yourself going. Like, he was a kid at that time, so it's possible for him to do that. A lot of other people, maybe not so much. So, but big shout out to Phantom because he's doing, he doing the thing, man. I can't doubt that. The AMP guys, they all doing that, man. So, they killing it. I'm glad that they are. But like I said, at the same time, we got to bring it back, reel it in, chase everything within reason. And you don't never give up on your dream, but at the same time, make sure that you're taking care of your business because you got to be you got to be responsible first. It's hard it's hard to explain, but I think y'all know. I got to tell the audience, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Speaking of which, up next, man, check it out, man. Look, make sure, make sure y'all secure y'all accounts and stuff, man. Make sure you got different different email addresses, different passwords. Make sure you got 20 character passwords, stuff like that that's not easily hackable. And make sure you got different passwords for all your backups and your backups backups. Because it's starting. People are getting hacked. And uh, like right here, Starmito. Mito! He says, you might get, you. my YouTube got hacked last night. I need help getting it back. Uh, please help. And uh, you know, it is what it is, man. So, you know, I don't already like retweeted and did all this stuff, did what we can do. The boy Jay Amir, he got hacked the other day. He said my my account got hacked. Uh I was I need help getting it back. You know, he's talking about YouTube. I was live streaming and the hacker came in, uh came in my stream and logged me out. They changed my information and everything, and I can't get back in. Uh please somebody help. And so, like I said, man, this stuff is tough, man. They got my guy brute last year. We, we you know, we went and we, that was a tough two weeks, man, because that's right when 2K was coming out. Um, you know, he's not in the US, so it was a little bit more difficult for him to do that stuff. And it's just like, people was just like, uh, it was just like, it's just, it, as a matter of fact, it was for him to get his stuff back. But it seems like uh, Jay Amir, he was able to get his back relatively quickly because, um, here we go right here. He says, hey, for those who are unaware, yesterday I was hacked out of hacked out of my YouTube. Fortunately, I was able to recover my account and get it back. I appreciate everybody who helped through the process. 
uh, to be more in the loop in the future. Follow me on IG. Love y'all and have a blessed day. See how much better I can read when it's on doggone uh, dark mode, bro. I can't read in light mode. If y'all can't read in light mode because y'all old as old as like me, y'all let me know. But like I said, it's, it's that time of year, man. People try to hack your account when they know the most activity. They look at your account, they see when the most activity is, they try to get your account right before then when you're doing the most numbers, when you do the most, and then they try to put that stuff up there, man. Some people just do it just to do it. It ain't like PlayStation where, where you can just hop in, but at the same time, if you got a simple password or something like that, it might as well be, they might as well just be just be typing random stuff in and you know, getting it, get it eventually. Like I said, 20 character passwords, um, or or more, uh, you know, use a different you know, two two FA or uh, MFA multi factor authentication. Make sure you got a couple of uh, you, you make sure you, your email address has has crazy um, the actual email that goes with it. Make sure they can't get into that. Make sure you got MFA on that. Make sure you got uh, all the stuff on it. And then you know, cause you got it's, it's it's like three layers of security. You got MFA on YouTube. You got your MFA on your email account. So if they do get into your YouTube and they got that password, they can't turn around and get into your email account. And then you still got a way to recover it. And then put the backup account on another service. So like, let's say if you got, let's say if you got Gmail for your. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't use Gmail for my for my what's the name. So let's say you got Hotmail. Or or excite is excite still around? If you got excite mail, get excite mail, and then that's what you sign up for YouTube with, right? Then you put your backup as like something like as like blue mail or something like that, whatever, something that you always gonna have access to, right? So put your put your backup as that. Put multi-factor authentication on both of your emails, and then put multi-factor authentication on your YouTube. That should keep you relatively safe, but hey, somebody can get it. If they want it bad enough, bro, they're going to be able to get it, bro. Um, last but not least, man, look, man, what the video is really about, man. The boy Dime Work, that boy Dime Work out there dropping gems on him. Boy, I'm, I'm messing up with it. Hey, he says, he says, was ass at, NBA, at 2K that took no skill, yet they rejoice, <laughs> they rejoicing for a 2K that's supposed to take more skill. is happy to be more bro i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro i hollered when i seen that joint bro and uh, i wouldn't buy myself because look everybody said the same thing they're laughing they're laughing a lot of people are laughing and then you know it just says uh you know the day that the game becomes more more about iq and skill rather than which dribble combos you know is gonna be a great day that's a lot of people saying that boy Easy says this is exactly what i've been trying to explain to the community but they don't get it LOL. Everyone thinks that they're losing to a person that has no skill. When really, if you can, if you can uh, never find a bomb, if you find the nearest mirror, I guarantee you'll find one. More or less, what we're saying is, bro, is uh, and then like and then exacto knife. He just he just came out and said, 98 percent of the community is pure, <laughs> and we all know that, bro. Like it is what it is. The community, this community is probably one of the. It, it's just not. You just it's. A lot of the players that play in the community are, are just not very good at the game. And that's okay because everybody is casual. We did the video on that the other day. It's a casual game. And I tried to explain to people. People want to come at me talking about telling me why they're not shooting 70 plus percent. And I'm trying to help y'all out and say, look, bro, y'all, I don't know if you want to do this, Mike, because most of the community is casual players and you know what i'm saying they don't have time to try to be great at the game and blah 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 and you know what i'm saying like if they're shooting 50 percent and 40 percent right now if you make did baby cooper just climb the ladder on on a spy oh my god hold on i gotta run that back man hold on hold on hold on hold on i gotta run that back run it back run it back but Sparty, he like, Sparty over there like, no! And that boy like, I'm too high. Rack! They all already know what that is, boy. Who get up off the floor, my boy? But anyway, uh, a lot of people don't understand that. Like, everybody thinks that. It's like, it's crazy because I never understood this. Like, people in the Call of Duty community, they know that if they make shooting easy. Like, their community, Apex, Call of Duty, all these communities where you just got to be bad until you get till you get better. But 2K, we expect them to make the game so we can look like we're better or what have you. Because when you go to most people that think that they're good at the game, bro, most of the time they just really running exploits and they're just doing stuff like that. And so 
they run the exploits and then everybody swears that the reason that they're losing is because of some exploit. Like if you ask the, the average person right now, everybody loses game, man. My record ain't right because I play with, it's the same excuse. I play with randoms, everybody left writing, I don't have a lock, and my little cousin was playing on my account. That's why That's why it's bad. Ain't nobody just say, bro, I don't put that much time into this game, so I'm just not very good at it. And that's cool, that's fine. I don't understand why we gotta be so, but it's just like everybody says the same thing. Man, the 2K takes skill, I'm gonna be good. No, you're probably going to be bad because it's gonna be, like right now, everybody is abusing this stuff. Even the bummiest bum with the 20 win percent is out there trying to abuse left, right. He's just at it so he can't really abuse it like he's trying to but he's trying to it ain't that he ain't trying to he's trying to do it they just get boxed up the very good players those are the ones that 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 can't be stopped and stuff like that man but you know it is what it is all i'm trying to tell y'all is this everybody on 2k thinks they're getting by 2k that's what everybody thinks nobody thinks that they need to improve or get better or do anything somebody even said that shooting ain't a skill like pressing the square listen i understand what you're saying pressing buttons on a controller is not a quote unquote skill but you can be better at it than somebody else we're not saying that you can't get there if you play it enough some people ain't gonna never get there no matter how much they play it like my dad he, he like 90 years old he's never gonna get there but the average person that plays if you play this joint enough you're gonna be able to get there. You can, you'll be able to shoot just like everybody else and all of that. The reason that you're not is because you don't have the time to put into it, just like I don't have the time to put into it. you two or three hours a day and that's just how it is. But it is what it is, man. Like people just, they just don't understand. Like everybody thinks they want a more competitive game. I want a more competitive game, but I understand how that can hurt 2K's bottom line because everybody's not really that good at the game. And it's going to be a whole fiasco like 2K20 where the game was great. We thought it was magnificent. Defense reigned supreme. We was locking people up, winning games, 91 win percent in the stage, man, Bruton and Gambit. And then what happened? They couldn't sell the game. They had to give their game away. Bro, they was giving the game away on 2K20, which I feel like was the best 2K, probably. One, it definitely up there. They were giving that game away before October 30th because it was such a high skill gap after they took off the explosive behind the back. Uh, once they took that out, the, the skill gap on that game was so high, as, as far as I felt like anyway. Um, and the defense was so good and a lot of people just didn't even buy it. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to do none of that. And so they understood that. So they ended up having to give that game away before. But you know, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm gonna let y'all see because I know what it is. I've been around long enough. I've been in this thing for, I've been doing YouTube close to 14 years. So well, to whatever 2009 is or 2010 or whatever. I've been doing Twitch and YouTube since then. And I understand how this thing goes and they have to make these games with the casuals in mind because if they don't, nobody's, those are the guys, hey look, the hardcore people keep you, keep the lights on. The casuals get you the Ferrari. Cliffy B made that very, very apparent to us, you know, when they made two, I oh, not when they kept making Gears of War and that game right there just be more and more casual. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully y'all understand what I'm talking about, man. Um, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. If y'all want me to keep on doing the mods and stuff like that, uh, as for something for y'all to watch, y'all let me know. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,